Hundreds of people filled the Ohio State House tonight to share testimony as a vote looms for House Bill 68. So if this is passed, the bill would ban trans youth from receiving gender affirming care and bans trans women from competing in women's sports. Our Simone Jameson joins us live in the state capitol with all the details. Yeah, that's right, Rob Trisha. There has been a contentious debate over House Bill 68, which was introduced in February and would ban trans youth from receiving gender affirming care from doctors. And an additional component of the bill would also ban transgender women from playing women's sports. It's an issue that continues to divide people, thousands of people across the state. I'm a transgender male, which is the least important thing about me and is upsetting that this is the topic of debate. On Wednesday, hundreds of people from trans youth and parents to teachers, doctors and pastors gathered at the Ohio State House to oppose House Bill 68. House Bill 68, introduced in February, would ban doctors from providing gender affirming care to trans youth, which would include puberty blockers and hormone therapy. My daughter told me that if she gets her health care taken away, she will unalive herself. Sit with that. The bill would also ban gender reassignment surgery for anyone under 18. Those in support of the bill testified in late November among the supporters were some who had detransitioned as well as Ohio based medical professionals. Hey, I'm asking you that you close the door to harmful gender affirming care and open the door for children to get the help they deserve. I am in support of Ohio House Bill 68 to help protect children from the consequences that I am dealing with today and for the rest of my life. A false narrative, which is dangerous, is taking root, which is that these therapies, which include but are not limited to puberty blockers and gender reassignment surgery, are as benign as penicillin and aspirin. The medical literature with respect to gender affirming care is incomplete at best and biased and poor quality at worst. And I think that is false. Another component of the bill would prevent trans youth from competing in women's sports. Opponents of the bill testified at the state capitol Wednesday that House Bill 68, which lawmakers slated as the SAFE Act, is anything but. I beg you, please do not pass House Bill 68. It's going to kill children. And if you think it's hyperbole, it's not. This mother and others, including doctors based in Cincinnati, fear it would do more harm than good for their patients. This is a small but extremely vulnerable and high-risk population. Substitute House Bill 68 uses false information to strip away parental rights and impose non-scientific restrictions on pediatric health care specialists. Lawmakers could still choose to fact fast track this bill to becoming a law before the year is up. Some medical professionals who testify here today are asking if the bill is to become a law that a clause be added that would allow them to continue to provide care for their patients until they're of legal age. Live at the state capitol, Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now. We'll continue.